مديحة حسن نبي محمد Assistant Lecture Medical Surgical Department Faculty of Nursing I will present now blood pressure procedure a blood pressure is a pressure or force exerted by the blood against the wall of the artery when the left ventricle contract. We measure blood pressure to obtain baseline data and to detect any changes in patient's condition that may lead to increase or decrease in blood pressure. It's called hypertension or hypotension and to aid in diagnosis and treatment. To measure blood pressure, we need a sphygmomanometer, set scope, iodine ball, and alcohol sponge. We have many types of sphygmomanometer. The first one is aneroid type. Also, we have mercury type and electronic type. We should check the efficiency of the equipment before going to bedside by applying pressure to the cuff and close the valve and start to inflate it. When moving up or mercury moving up in this mercury tube, ensure that blood pressure apparatus is functioning. Take equipment and go to bed, uh, patient's bedside and start to explain procedure to the patient. Then check patient's chart for three points. The first, it check the previous recorded blood pressure and it check patient's diagnosis that may affect patient's blood pressure and it check any med medication of the patient because many medications affect blood pressure by increasing or decreasing it. I start by selecting appropriate cuff size according to patient's arm. Then position patient in position of comfort, lying down or sitting position, and his arm beside uh, the patient and palm up. Patient's arm should be beside the patient, palm up. It should be at the heart level to ensure accurate measurement. Apply cuff, but this cuff should be applied without closing and fix it. It should be placed above and cubital fossa above. with the bladder at the center. It should be not too tight and not too loose, and the tubes along the radius and the ulnar bone. We have two types to measure blood pressure, bulbatory method and oscillatory method. Oscillatory method, we use a scope for palpatory method. We use finger to palpate radial pulse. After uh, palpating radial pulse, we inflate the cuff until blood, uh, sorry, until pulse is fed. This step to indicate the point at which we should raise 30 mmHg above this point. After that, we should open valve slowly and start to deflate the cuff. When deflating the cuff, the pulse is returned again. At this point, we indicate systolic blood pressure. In auscultatory method, we use cesscope. We should at first disinfect it with alcohol sponge. We should disinfect air base to prevent course infection and bell of the scope. Both such scope directed forward toward nose according to anatomical shape of external auditory canal, fell radial pulse, and when but not felt, increase 30 mmHg and start to open valve and listen.
during the auscultation, we hear beats. We indicate the first and last beat to indicate blood pressure. Be sure a sphygmomanometer at the heart level, at eye level to take accurate measurement. Be sure that cuff is deflated, completely deflated to prevent pressure on patient's arm. Then we remove sphygmomanometer. Disinfect stethoscope to prevent cross infection. Bail of stethoscope and air bases. And return equipment and return patient to comfort position, cover arm and document blood pressure, reading document site, which arm, right or left and position. Good morning, I'm Fatma Gano, Assistant Lecturer in Medical Surgical Department of Faculty of Nursing, Mount Sonia University. Today we will talk about intramuscular injection. First, we will start with how to prepare the, the medication, then we will give it to the patient. We have the ampoule, which, it, uh, which is prescribed by the doctor, I have to check its expiry date and the accurate and correct uh, dose which the doctor prescribed. This is a, a septic, uh, uh, for following a septic technique, we have to wear disposable gloves after doing hand washing. We will choose the appropriate size of syringe according to uh, the patient and the uh, medication which I'm give, going to give. I have the ampoule here. I have to put one cotton sponge around the neck and snap it to avoid injury to my hand. Then I will aspirate the amount of medication completely. Avoid friction between the needle and the ampoule itself. Cover the needle and eliminate the air bubbles which the syringe contain. Now the syringe is ready to be given for the patient. I will need one dry cotton sponge and one alcohol swab for giving this IM injection. Let's locate or discuss the sites which I'm going to give. Today we will discuss the gluteal muscle intramuscular injection. Here, this, this model shows this sciatic nerve which I want to give away from this sciatic nerve. So I will, I will draw imaginary lines, one horizontal and one vert vertical, and I will give in the upper outer quadrant or upper outer aspect of this gluteal muscle here. So I will go to the patient. First, I will identify the patient by the hand bracelet to be sure that the, that is the correct patient and to uh, be sure of the five rights, which we say the right medication to the right patient in right dose, in uh, right uh, road, and in the right time. I will need the alcohol swab after 
determining the upper outer quadrant here. I will clean it by alcohol sponge from center to outer in a circular motion and one direction. After disinfecting, I will need here the dry cotton sponge in my fingers. I will stretch the skin. My angle will be 90%. Here, avoid superficial blood vessels when puncturing the skin. Go, support, aspirate. It must be no blood, no blood, then inject slowly. After giving the medication, remove the syringe and support the patient doing massage according to the type of medication which I give. Discard this needle in needle sharp container. Check the patient. Um, band aid can be uh, bought if there is blood uh, oozing. Uh, be, be sure that the patient is in a comfortable position. Uh, don't, for the syringe, it should be discarded in needle sharp container. Avoid recapping. Okay. When I'm done, remove the gloves correctly. Do hand washing and record my procedure. Thank you. Heba Abu Bakr, Assistant Lecturer in Mansoura University, Faculty of Nursing. Our procedure today is measuring apical pulse. Pulse is defined generally as alternative expansion and recoil of an artery as a wave of blood exerted through it when left ventricle contract. We use this procedure in three cases. If the peripheral pulse weak or irregular or both, we need to measuring apical pulse. Also, in some uh, medication, we use to assess heart rate before administering this medication as digitalis, so we have to assess uh, heart rate. Number three, to determine pulse deficit. And pulse deficit is the differences between apical pulse or, or heart rate and the peripheral pulse. Now we will start the procedure. First, as uh, in, uh, in any procedure, we start it by hand washing to prevent cross infection. Then we have a patient, so explain the procedure to the patient to gain patient cooperation. And prepare equipment. The equipment for this procedure is just a stethoscope and alcohol swab. Before we starting the procedure, we have to rec uh, examine the previous rec uh, patient's record to obtain baseline data and a certain medical diagnosis and the prior history of uh, this patient. Number three, uh, determine if the patient take any medication that affect or that may affect the uh, heart rate. After, uh, after this, we start the procedure. We have to wear stethoscope in correct manner. This, uh, this correct manner, the earpiece is bent forward for anatomical position of external auditory ear canal with alcohol swab. We disinfect the diaphragm of the stethoscope to prevent cross infection between patients and disinfect the ear pieces to prevent cross infection between medical staff. Wearing a stethoscope as we say uh, previously. Then uh, before we, we put the stethoscope in the uh, sides, uh, this side is called the apex of the heart. We warm it to prevent shelling of the patient, especially in winter weather. We put the uh, diaphragm of stethoscope at the apex of the heart. The apex of the heart left mid clavicular line in fifth intercostal space. As we can see, that is, stethoscope will be here. We can count in fifth intercostal space by counting the ribs, second, third, fourth, fifth. After fifth, we put the stethoscope. And the easier way, we can put the stethoscope nearly below the nipple, at left side, at in mid line. 
here this model will be easier in hearing hearing heart rate. Heart rate will be heard as lop top sound. We will hear the sound of heartbeat at this model. The heart rate will hear as lop top sound. Each one lop top count as one heartbeat. We count the heartbeat at full one minute for accurate measurement and detect any abnormalities. After we count uh, heart rate, we go to make hand washing to prevent cross infection and then record the result. The result, it will be rate, rhythm, and force. Then report any abnormalities for responsible person. In the pulse, uh, uh, rate, say uh, if there is 73 beat per minute, then rhythm of the heart beat regular or irregular and force as weak or strong uh, a beat. Then uh, report any abnormalities of, hand, uh, of, uh, of the patient to responsible person. And thank you.